You heard the Secretary of Defense today say both in writing and verbally that we are at war. Who declared that war? Uh, Chairman uh, or Representative Forbes, uh, I think what the, what the, Chairman, what the Secretary is saying, because we've discussed this, is we view uh, the fight against ISIL as a threat to the United States, and we are mobilizing all of the military capabilities that are necessary. Who would have actually that made that declaration? Is that something you would make, the Secretary would make? If it was a technical would... declaration of war, it would be the Congress. But has that declaration been made? Uh, no, it has not. So then how does the Secretary say we're at war? Well, why didn't the Secretary I, say for I understand, for but I don't, I only have five minutes. Well, I'm just going to tell you. Well, I'm, 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 by doing that, I'm not I, I would ask the Secretary, if he wants to elaborate, he can do it in writing. He's taking my five minutes. General Dumford, can you tell me, if, as, as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, if you know? We, we are technically not at war, uh, okay. Representative Forbes. So if we're effectively not at war, let me ask you this. We, war. Have we currently contained ISIL? Uh, we have not contained ISIL. Have territory. they been contained at any time since 2010? Uh, tactically, uh, in areas they have been, uh, strategically they have spread since 2010. Uh, can you ask me if our current strategy in, the, in your best personal and professional military judgment that we've currently implemented, uh, do we have a strategy that will defeat and destroy ISIL? I think the right components of a strategy are in place, Representative Forbes. Is that the strategy that was recommended by the Joint Chiefs? The current strategy, and particularly the military dimension of the strategy, is the strategy that was recommended by the Joint Chiefs.